Long live freedom. Damn it. <laughs> Back here to dream world, my anarcho capitalist game starting Javier Milley. My last game was starting with with Elon Musk, but it had the bandy cam watermark and that and that was upsetting some viewers so I had to to start all over again my libertarian anarcho capitalist as you can see now no bandy cam. Why Javier Milei? Because he is I think the biggest reference of anarcho-capitalism here in South America, and he is getting bigger. He's a congressman here in Argentina, really polemic, really funny, <laughs> really fun to watch. You have, if you are interested, you have tons of content with Javier Millet anywhere you look, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever you look, you're going to find our Javier Millet in debates, talking in television, and really interviews with Millet are really fun as well. I would recommend you to check out, to take a look at, at Javier Millet, anarcho-capitalist, <laughs> funny guy. Huh? I mean, he, I have tons of fun with Javier Millet. I'm Brazilian, but I live in Argentina, and I'm familiar with Javier Millet for quite some time. Now, this is Ambrosia. It's some sort of drug, mild, mild drug. As you can see, Dream World is a libertarian game. There is no state, no taxes. The free market is completely free. And you have the freedom <laughs> to kill, harvest, imprison, and enslave people. Nice. <laughs> Those goddamn communists attacked me in my last game. This is number seven. I was attacked by a red wave. <laughs> Not Republican, but red as in communist wave. One communist that looked like Kratos from the from God of War. And he was attacking me, but I've managed to survive using my traps. I had to run away with Javier Millet because he's not good at fighting. I chose a character that was good. Wake up, Millet. Good morning. Viva la libertad, carajo. <laughs> I'm building my kitchen. I have no energy yet, so I'm building it with wood as fuel because I have no no source of energy yet. You see there? That's the red scumbag dead because he invaded my private property and I had to, you know, use my traps. You must choose a character that is good with plants and construction when you're starting the game just like I did, you know. This is the most difficult scenario where you start the game with nothing. No clothing, no guns, no weapons, no way to protect yourself, no food, nothing, really. And you have to start your colony from the ground. I think this is the most interesting scenario of them all. The rest of them are kind of... You, you can choose the difficulty level using the storyteller, but I think this is the most interesting one. I've started my last one with Elon Musk as a billionaire who wanted to get out <laughs> of his planet. That would be Earth, right? and colonize a planet by himself. So that's what Elon Musk did in my last game. But Elon Musk will be back to this game here. You can, you can rest assured I admire the guy. I think he's brilliant and you know, nobody has $300 billion out of being stupid. So, and he's a living proof that capitalism works. If it didn't work for me, I do not blame capitalism. <laughs> I blame myself because I'm I'm a loser, useless. So that's what happens when you are a loser in capitalism. You are a loser because you made no money. You, I have had my my entire life to make money and I didn't. So that's it. I'm actually building my kitchen. You should start thinking about food as early as you can because you know characters are always hungry in Rima, 
World game made by, I think it's Canadian, made by Tynan Sylvester, and you can find it on Steam. Had a 98% positive review among 2,000 users. Cook simple meal. As you can see here, you can start to cook, and you should, because you save resources. Besides characters, do not like to eat raw food. They like to eat. You do not need, I don't think so anyway. You do not need to cook berries or that. That fruit is kind of rare, I don't remember. I, I think I've seen it once in my other games. I had a game that was a disaster with melee. Everybody started to eat each other. <laughs> I've ran out of food. It was a disaster, really bloody, really messy. And this game was actually banned in Australia. I have no idea why, but it can get kind of kind of violent. You see here, he hates to eat raw food. And if he gets in a bad mood, you actually lose control over your libertarian characters. <laughs> Everybody here is is a libertarian. There is no other. It, of course, there are tons of ideologies you can choose and you can have fun with all of those ways to customize your ideology. It can take, you know, huge amounts of time if you're going to customize every little thing your characters believe. But you can do that. I didn't in this game, but you actually can. And it's fun. It's relaxing. The pace relaxes me. I have really, I'm just like me laying the game. I'm a night owl. I can't sleep at all. Never. So uh, this game is relaxing to me and the pace, the music. I use Rimworld as a, as a tool to try to make myself sleep. You can uh, fast forward the game in here, just like that's what I'm doing right now. You should be careful though when you're fast forwarding because you can get attacked by an animal or something and you you might run out of time to, to react to, to an attack. Melee is not very good at mining. He's decent enough, but hopefully someone else will join my my colony and make my life a little easier, the life of melee actually a little easier. This is steel. I need tons of steel to build to build almost everything in the game you need you're going to need either wood or steel. Since I chose to live in the mountains, there's going to be more easier ways to find steel in my game. But you have tons of different scenarios. You can choose the desert, tropical, temperate, ice, whatever you... And the world is huge. You must have tons of time if you're going to try to play Rim World. I do not want Millet to mine right now. I have enough, enough steel as it is. So I must finish the rest of my, of my colony because I'm thinking about my research already. I need the batteries because I do not know if this winter is going to be really difficult as it was in my, in my Elon Musk game. So Elon Musk finally got Twitter, no? Is it better? I hate Twitter, man. I have an account there, it's blocked and I don't give a damn. I hated that, that tweet. I, I see no, I don't see the points, it's especially. It's just for gossip. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So I don't care about Twitter at all. I think it was a mistake of our Elon, Elon Musk to waste his money on that. But it is money, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. And I hope he gets Twitter to be a little more interesting. To me, it's just pathetic. I don't even open Twitter. 10 minutes, time to wrap up my video and recommend you again to check Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. He has tons of debates 
with libertarians, all of them entertaining, funny. You should check it out. And that's it for today. See you in my next video. Number eight, it's coming. Zurdos, hijos de puta, tiemblen! La libertad avanza! ¡Viva la libertad! Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.